Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. So I had a craft show yesterday. You're all waiting to hear how it went, huh? Okay. It took a while. Let's see. First, it took a while to get things set up. I only had, technically, according to the sign-up sheet, one hour for setup. And... The, it was at a school that was on multiple levels. So to get to where my table was, I had to come in a narrow doorway, go up five steps, and then go into a hallway. So that means no cart. Nope, my cart's not going to go up five steps. So I had to carry everything in. I did have help with one of the five trips I made. And then I had taken my cubes, my metal wire cubes that I got for Christmas last year, unassembled. So I had to put them all together. Once I got them together, it was like quickly putting everything in. And I was set up in time. Well, I got there 15 minutes early and the doors were open. So I had like an hour and 15 minutes to set up. And that was pretty good. I got it done. And then I sat there until, let's see, I need the second sheet here, until 10.43. So 45 minutes before I got my first sale. I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm sweating it. I'm just like, oh no, this is not going to be a good show. But the first sale was a fancy elephant for $30. So my table fee was paid with the first sale. After that, I think the next sale was this brother-sister um, that came up. And the girl homed in on my emotional support chicken and the little purse bag with the tag on it. She got that. That, I think was my best advertising for the day because she wore that emotional support chicken over her shoulder, wore it around all through the day. And people would say, where would you get that? Up there in the hallway, up there in the hallway. There were vendors down in the gym. Like when you came in the door and you paid your admission and you got your raffle tickets, you could go down four stairs into the gym or you could go up the five stairs to the tables that had the raffle items and the hallway that had the other vendors. So their thinking was, since people have to go up the stairs to put in their raffle, they will see the hallway and go down there. Well, you only got one raffle ticket with the admission, and I think there were some people who were like, nah, I'm not going to bother. I'm not going upstairs. They said there were really big crowds in the gym, the crowds up in the hallway, it was never really crowded. There was a steady stream of shoppers, but I'd n I said, I wouldn't say that it was ever crowded. Okay. But that being said, I actually, for the first time since I think last year's Street Fest, filled an entire page. I could have gone onto the back of the page, but I didn't. I just scribbled stuff into the bottom of the page. I didn't bring it here to, to show. But. And then I typed up an Excel spreadsheet of everything that sold so I can tell you like what, what sold multiples of. I was surprised by one. Okay. This is an alphabetical order, so it's not in the order of things that were sold. I sold my waffles the ankylosaurus they, i call them waffles because it's a pattern from complicated knots it's a youtube tutorial for youtube tutorial and the ankylosaurus i usually make you have to change colors and do bubble stitches for the shell waffles uses a waffle stitch for the shell so you just have a grid not the not the bubbles so waffles sold for $15. I also sold one of my Betty Bears, the cute little pastel one with a purple scarf. 
is cute. I want to make him again. I sold two chickens. The first one was that emotional support chicken. And then later somebody came back and said, oh, don't you have any chickens left? And I had brought out a bunch of little chickens and nests. And I had one white fleck and two black fleck. And um, she bought the white fleck. I need to make more little white fleck chickens and put them in bags. If I had a bunch of little chicken, maybe like five, six inch long chickens in the little crescent shade pouch with the emotion, emotional support chicken leather tag on it. I think I would have sold them all because that girl walking around with her emotional support chicken was great advertising. While I was at the show, I made the first thing I finished was one little blue happy coffee cup and that's old. The coffee, the happy coffees were getting a lot of attention, but I only sold that one. Okay, maybe next show. I did sell Wally the Dachshund. Now that's my own pattern called Soxy Doxy that I made up years ago. That has been one of my best sellers. Um, so I need to get another Dachshund made up as soon as possible in nice, in dog colors. I do have one that's, I call it taffy. It's made up in pastels. But people do tend to like the real dog colors for the dachshunds. I sold two dinosaurs. One was the blue gray one that I made up as I think part of a use it up challenge a month or two ago. And my hatching blue dinosaur big brother. This is from a one and two company pattern called the hatching party where I have one dinosaur that's just an egg with spots on it and the legs sticking out like that one hasn't hatched yet and then there are the big siblings who are already hatched but still wearing their eggshell so i sold big blue brother but that that little egg just i haven't been able to sell them as a set i sold punky the dinosaur sorry it's not a dinosaur donkey punky the donkey free pattern by yarn society I made it up in black with a green green mane. I called them punky. I had four donuts with me. I sold three out of four. I need to make more donuts. I told you about the fancy elephant. That was the first item sold. I sold four frogs. I sold, they, they were in the 10 to $14 range. I sold a leggy frog with a red skirt. I sold both of the frogs that I made from the Timu kit pattern. Because I made the one from their kit and then I made one with my own worsted weight yarn. Both of those sold. So I have to make more of those. And I sold a chunky cheeky frog. I'll have to link the pattern. That's one of those frogs where you do a little bit of a stitch on the back to give, um, to make him cheeky. Okay, I sold one hedgehog to a cute little kid named Georgie. Georgie got a hedgehog. The hippo, which is a free pattern on Instagram from Crochet, Crochet, and three other co collaborators. I sold two out of three of them. I sold the ombre one and the purple one. So I got to be making more hippos. And my monster of the month from February. When I went down to Pennsylvania for a show, I asked my granddaughter to make me a picture of the colors that she would use. And I made up that monster of the month. That's old. So thank you, Aaliyah, for making such good color choices that that sold quickly. Um, I sold a cute mushroom. This was a pattern for a mushroom that worked up to be five or six inches tall. And let's see, that sold mushroom. I sold a flip octopus. That's a free pattern. I'm not going to guess. I'm, I'm thinking, but I, I want to make sure I got that right. Then 
I sold a piece of old stock. A couple of years ago, I did a crochet along trying to win some prizes where I made an owl cupcake where it was an owl in a wizard hat and the skirt would fold up or the lower half would fold up. So all you saw was the wizard hat and then you could fold it down and you saw the owl. I've had that in stock and nobody's bought it until yesterday. Yay! I sold the penguin with the pink hat that I made, I think last year, when I was doing the um, uh, Amagurumi Wars. It was the designer of the month and I had it priced at $30. <clears throat> I had a rather rude customer who said, will you take 15 for this? I said, no. That took me a long time to make, and I'm standing by my price. For the amount of time I invested in that, $30 is reasonable. No, it's too much. You take 20 No. And in the meantime, his daughter picks it up, and she's cuddling it. Can't you see my child wants this toy? You have to give me a deal on it. And I said, no, I don't. And he was actually, like, getting in my face and acting threatening. Like, you have to do this. I finally said, okay, 25 that, just to get rid of him. So I sold it for $25. And I hope that little girl turns out to be a sweet, loving child, despite her father being so rude. Okay, then, two emotional support pickles. I needed an emotional support pickle after my dealing with that father. <laughs> and then, this is the surprise. I sold all three of my platypus. I've been taking these platypus to shows for a couple months now, and people are like, oh, look, a platypus. But nobody ever buys one. I sold all three of them. Now I need to make some more platypus. So thank you to Strawberry Bonnie for introducing me to the platypus pattern. Pop mushrooms were quite popular. I sold two of just the, it's, it's mushy crushy or crushy mushy on Instagram. It's a free pattern. Now there's also one for a mushroom that's over a frog. And I will link them in the description box because so many patterns and I don't have all the designer names memorized, but I sold two of those. So four of the mushrooms, you know, mushrooms where you can pop the top, top up now, those sold well. I sold two stingray. And the last item on my list, which was not the last item sold, the last item sold was one of the stingrays and one of the platypus. Because these two boys had been coming up and looking at stuff all through the show, but their mom was a vendor and she had to wait until after the show. And she came up and I was already packing up and they're like, oh, you've got everything packed up already. And the one kid's like, there's my platypus. And he grabbed the platypus. The other kid's like, oh, I wanted a stingray. Well, I knew just which box the stingrays were in, so I opened it up and he got his stingray. So that was the last. Actually, my last sale of the day was after the close of the show. Usually, the last hour or so of a show, everything is dead, but there were consistent sales right up until and past the end. So, you're wondering, so what does all this add up to? Was it a good show? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just watched it go. Um, 458 dollars. $25 table fee. That makes this show number four out of 129 shows. It is only behind two of my Street Fest shows, which were during good weather. This is the show where they closed on Main Street and the next town over 
thousands of people come walking through. Two of those and one show down by my daughter's house in Pennsylvania, the big show. Um, so, yeah, it was a good show. And I told my husband, okay, I'm going to be all the way out here, 20 miles out here. I'm only two miles from this big international grocery store that's like, they got stuff that nobody else has. So I'm going to go there after the show. Got the car all loaded. As I was taking out the last load or two, it starts raining. And I get in my car. I'm like, oh, do I go over to the store or not? I don't want to go to the store in the rain. And then there's like this hail snow mixture coming down with the rain. It's like, no, not doing it. I'm going home. So that was the show. It turned out well. But now I need to go play with the yarn and catch up remaking all this stuff this stuff. I've got to make platypus. I've got to make pop mushrooms. i got to finish up my April stuff. So it's time to go play. Bye-bye.